Labor unions are an important voting bloc in play for the 2020 election. And today and tomorrow, the Service Employees International Union, the SEIU, is holding a presidential forum in Los Angeles. Uh, the SEIU is one of America's largest and most politically involved labor unions. In fact, it represents nearly 2 million uh, health care workers, janitors, security officers, and public service uh, employees of all walks of life. Uh, joining me now is the president of the SEIU, Mary Kay Henry. Mary Kay, it's great to talk to you again. Uh, what are you looking to hear to from the, you. Thank you. Uh, what are you looking forward to hearing from uh, the candidates at the forum? I, I spoke to you a couple of weeks ago and asked you the same question. I'm curious to get your thoughts about have the issues changed and, and what are those pressing issues? Uh, they've the, been the same than when we talked before, Eamon, that this summit shows that 2020 presidential candidates understand they have to answer the demands of working people for unions for all. And that means rewriting the rules in this economy to put more power in the hands of working people so that we can get to a bargaining table and negotiate a better life for ourselves and families and all communities in this country. Because the people I just left down at the Westin Hotel understand that we are facing the worst economic and political crisis in our generation. And we've had it with the level of racial and economic inequality in our lives. So I know that a uh, vice president is expected to take the stage in about half an hour from now. You're going to hear from a total of six of the uh, Democratic candidates and between today and tomorrow. Will you be listening for what they have to say about the topic of impeachment? Do you want them to address the impeachment inquiry into President Trump? You know, our union has been on record supporting the inquiry, Eamon, but no worker uh, in our union or in the fight for 15 in a union has raised impeachment as a threshold question for evaluating 2020 candidates. We want to know about health care. We want to know about immigration. And we want to understand if they're going to respond to our call for four big changes to write all workers into labor law so that every worker has a chance to form a union. So to that point, have, from the points that you've identified, and since we have been speaking about this regularly and the candidates have been making that pitch over and over, have any of the candidates addressed those issues to your satisfaction? Is there a candidate out there that you are willing to say we like what he or she is saying about the topics that you just highlighted? Well, we think that candidates have been responding to the demands of working people who have flooded into the streets, fast food workers, teachers. We've been supporting the GM auto workers that are on strike. And we think that it, this situation requires a presidential candidate to be clear about bold and aggressive change so that working people can raise wages and create good jobs all across the service and care economy by getting the next president to set a national bargaining table, to require that every tax dollar creates good union jobs, to make states and cities be able to empower working people, and that every basic proposal to fix the economy, health care for all, the Green New Deal, college for all, has to include a way for those workers in those sectors of our economy to be able to join together and take minimum wage poverty jobs and make them good union family sustaining jobs. Mary Kay, how do you reconcile this part of the economy, which is, as you mentioned, and there are still a lot of issues that need to be addressed. But at the same time, you've got the jobs report that came out today. I believe uh, 136,000 new jobs were added. Unemployment down 3.5 percent, the lowest uh, it has been in 50 years. How do you reconcile w what you're saying with the fact that unemployment continues to drop? 64 million jobs in this country don't pay enough for people to support themselves or their family. We have too many people in this nation working two and three jobs and living in poverty, while corporations earn record profits and CEO comp is at an all-time high. Mm. That level of economic inequality is not going to create inclusive economic growth for everybody in this country. And that's why we're making a demand at this summit and on every candidate for unions for all workers, no matter what job they do. Mary Kay Henry, thank you so much for taking time from that summit to join us with your thoughts. I appreciate it.